The energy and the creativity of the YPC group drives and energizes ASABE. I was talking to Russell Persine. The amount of students who did not continue their professional membership in ASAE. And he introduced me to Chad Yago, who was the student president at the time. We came up with the idea of forming a young professionals community. That's exactly why we put this group together, was to help address um, some of the needs of the society, keep it healthy and vibrant. There's been a desire to bring others in, right, and, and try to grow leadership and, and uh, maintain that continuity. I had the privilege of going to an international meeting in Portland, had a wonderful time at one of their social outings, and decided that that was something I wanted to participate as I grew into my career. YPC was just a great opportunity. You had kind of have this transition from being an undergraduate student to uh, getting into your professional career. Um, it's a great opportunity to network with people that are in that same, you know, stage of their professional development. I'm the first one to go international student branch, YPC chair, and then end up in the president's seat. I didn't get selected to be president without the visibility and the opportunities and the impact I had through my involvement in the YPC. Most of my term was all kinds of different fundraising activities so that we could uh, subsidize the cost of CPDs and other things that young professionals were asking for as meeting content. If you didn't know about the YPC and who we were, who's not going to hear about the person at the meeting that has to ride a pedal tractor or kiss a pig? Um, oh, right, serious. <sighs> There's so many opportunities to work on teams, to collaborate, to work with people that aren't even from this country. You're going to build those skills, and I feel like I've, I've, I've really enhanced my skills in project management, time management, leadership. As a student, we're very much trained to solve textbook-like problems, one particular answer. Uh, we may not feel comfortable making certain engineering decisions early on, and as a professional, we're expected to be able to solve a lot of messier, more complex engineering problems. I found in my experience that YPC was a great place for me um, to learn from others, to kind of find my professional voice. We took the representatives previously uh, per the bylaws. They were all elected the same year and then they served for two years. And so the big change that we made during for the bylaws during that time was to split those up so that we would have some more continuity. Start a local ag tour at our annual meeting. Our first one was in New Orleans. I used my connections through John Deere to uh, get us a tour of a sugarcane farm and our sugarcane harvester manufacturing plant in Thibodeau. So since then we've been doing a local ag tour every year. When I came in as chair, we had just started in the pandemic. I was challenged with trying to stay connected to the entire community while being virtually separated. Well, YPC initiated a bunch of virtual events throughout the year using what we call task forces or subcommittees. And that has kind of grown in a, a method that we're going to continue to use where we will have our executive committee, but also have subcommittees that general community members can join and help us plan events and outreach throughout the year. And that's what kind of really makes it cool to look back at this 20 year anniversary is how far YPC members have gotten engaged with the rest of the society. We'll continue to act as a forum for young professionals and students where they can receive feedback and support from their professional network, continue their career development journey, and ultimately navigate the waters of their fledging career in ag and bioengineering. Helping to form YPC was to try to retain student members as they transition into their career, as I transitioned from a YPC to an old PC. <laughs>
As we look ahead to the next 20 years, the YPC committee envisions a future filled with immense growth opportunities. First and foremost, YPC should foster solid international relationships with agricultural and biological engineers worldwide. 